So let me guess this is your edit. Just pre-compose it. This is your edit without CC. So don't apply CC here. You just gonna export. So this is your clip. Open Topaz Video Enhance AI. First thing first, you have to choose the video quality high and video type must be progressive. Video artifact type must be on high compression. We are going to use Proteus Fine Tunes AI model. Copy my settings. These are the best settings that I use according to my export and render. We are not applying CC so just keep it sharpen on 0 revert compression 100, recover details 100, reduce noise 100 delo 0 to blur 80 and output size 200 because we are making it 4K. Our video is in 1080p, 200%, that means our video will be in 4K. Grain is off here. Video format just select MP4. I would like to use 5. Just lower the number. Retains the most quality. Higher the number, it just compresses to reduce quality. We are keeping this audio on. These are some settings you must follow. I have named some of my presets. You can just preview here but I'm just going to hit start. It depends on your machine. How powerful your machine is. So here it is our video. It just highlights sharpness and makes your clip more bold. Again, open After Effects. Import your video. This is the video which we upscaled and rendered using Topaz. Import it here, we're going to make a new composition and we're just going to make a 1080p composition. This is 4K but we are going to make a 1080p combination. Because again we are going to run Topaz to make it 4K. Import that clip in the comp like this. Since this is in 4K, that means it's double the size of 1080p, press S or you can just, click drop on button, and here you can get scale. Just put on 50 because it was, upscaled by 2 times. And we're going to decrease, pixel size by 2 times and that is 50. Just press Ctrl Alt Y and, it's going to bring an adjustment layer. Or you can just, go here and, Click on right click new and you're just going to get adjustment layer same thing. And I'm just going to rename it the CC. I just like to keep my files organized. S sharp 1. Drop it down here. It depends on if you want to use sharpen or not. Because I recommend not using sharpen too much because, we are again going to use topaz. Just I'm going to show you, if you use sharpen how much the amount should be. Follow my settings. The next effect is, saturation. Put master saturation to your liking. Like how much do you want to go get? I just would like to go 30 minus 4 or minus 5 here. After put on curve, don't do too much, just little, you can just drag it a little bit more. The next effect will be S cartoon. And this is a very important effect I use because it just creates cartoon outline, dark outline. I will just show you. This is the cartoon outline, and we are going to just set it correctly. Just follow my settings. This is pretty much the carton effect. Just see how much difference it makes. Just adds that extra dark outline border with this carton effect and it's pretty much like this. I use it all the time. And our next effect is going to be looks. Magic bullet looks or looks. And click on edit. And here we are going to just add some extra color LUTs like my favorites here is color splode. Just click on click OK. And here this is somewhat we are getting and if you want to use my usual CC, you can use different settings. Like here it's going to be, click here and go to lens and select lens.
And this is how our CC looks like. Look how fine it looks. We are going to use topaz and again we're going to use sharpen there. And if you ever have noticed if you sharpen too much, it will be a lot noisy. I am gonna use Gaussian blur because I'm going to again use topaz. Let's put it 2.5 this makes line, less black. If you are not going to use topaz, don't use Gaussian blur render normally like this. This is going to be fine. So I'm just going to use Gaussian blur and render it out in media encoder. I'll just let you show my settings here. So these are the settings I use. Here it is. Be sure to check this out and this much be software encoding. And don't forget to use CRB. Most people use like VRB1 pass, VRB2 pass. But I use CRB because it's constant bitrate and internet compresses video a lot and at times, I think it helps a lot. It's 25. I just do 25 and just click hit here and OK and render it, and you're good to go again. Open Topaz Video AI and this is our final CC clip. This is our final CC clip and we're going to be using it here. Put this clip in your Topaz Video AI. And we're going to upscale this. Copy my settings. Keep sharpen 15 or 10, I guess 15 is good. And, output size must be 200, because we're making it in 4K. And here, we can just preview it out to check if it looks good. Just look how poppy it makes. Just start it processing and after that you are done. So this is the final result.